What's going on guys, FaZe Rug here and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video and I'm actually super excited to be doing this. I actually got a call from my middle school principal asking if I could come in and talk to an English class about cyberbullying and the reason to this is because I made a back to school prank a couple months ago back in December and it did amazing. It's one of my top five most viewed videos on my YouTube channel with over five million views. So thank you guys for those who've seen that. That's one of my favorite videos. I went to my old middle school and surprised fans in class and it was honestly amazing seeing their reactions talking to them it was a great thing and um, I got a text from like one of my teachers saying that um, th some of the comments were like attacking some of the people in class and it sucks to hear that because like that was clearly one of my favorite videos and um, you know the whole point of it wasn't to make fun of the people in the class it was to watch me go surprise the fans in class and you know there were some people attacking some of the people in the class that I went to surprise and I felt really really bad and um, the teacher actually had them write some questions for me about cyberbullying and I'm actually gonna go there and talk about it in front of the whole class and you know cyberbullying sucks like it's it's an ongoing issue every single day and I wish it wasn't but you know that's the internet um, there's gonna be haters out there there's gonna be bullying out there I'm gonna go and talk to the kids and let them know to not let it affect them and you know it sucks that there were some people who were attacked um, who were in the class but you know, that's just the internet, and I'm gonna go talk to the kids. Hopefully I'll have an impact on them after today, um, because some of them were hurt, and I do not like that, and, um, you know, it sucks that they were cyberbullied, but I'm gonna go there, answer some of their questions, and I think I'm able to record. I'm gonna ask, like, one of the teachers if they can record me, so um, it could be for this video, and I do hope you guys enjoy. I'm really excited to do this. I really want to enlighten some students and um, kind of give them more confidence about themselves and let them know that cyberbullying is, like, a real issue and hopefully just doesn't affect them anymore and that's what I'm there for so hope you guys do enjoy this video and by the way it's Friday so the weekend's here hope you guys are all having a great day hope you guys have a great weekend and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video so I was asked to come today to like talk about cyberbullying and um, you guys have some questions for me, so I'm gonna go through them. And if you guys have extra questions, I'll like choose you guys after. And um, yeah, I mean, that video, by the way, that I made has over five million views, which is like my fifth most viewed video on my channel, so that's awesome. Thank you guys. <laughs> okay, so um, the first question we have is, how do you deal with bullies and trolls every day? Not only YouTube, but also in real life. Um, well, I've been, I mean, I get a lot of hate every single day because like I'm a big YouTuber so like you have haters but then you also have like more supporters than haters but how I deal with it is I ignore it, like I see it and I either just like laugh or I just like don't pay any attention to it because what the haters want is like your attention and if you don't give them the attention they'll get more mad and um, in real life if that's the case then like I would have to actually like talk to someone and like um, you know, ask for help, or just ignore the person and um, ask a parent for help, or a teacher, any adult. Next question is, do you ever reply to the online bullies? And um, a long time ago, I actually used to reply to them because, like, I was smaller. Like, I'd actually see a lot more hate, and like, I'd reply to them and I'd let let them get to me. But um, at the moment, I don't reply to them because, like I said, that's what they want. They want uh, the attention, and if you give them the attention, they won. So you wouldn't want to reply to the online bullies at all. Just let them keep doing it, but ignore it. But if it gets to you a lot, just, um, I would have to say just block them so you don't see their comments anymore. How do you try to get rid of people bothering you on social media without blocking them? <laughs> okay, um, well, like I said, um, ignore them, and if they keep doing it, you know, I, I mean, all I can say is ignore, like, there's nothing more you can do, there's a block button, or all you can do is ignore, but if you reply to them, that's, that's not like the right thing to do. Was there ever a comment that really got to you and how do you get over it? Um, there are some comments to this day that still get to me saying like, like your YouTube channel is dying or like um, you suck at being a YouTuber and stuff like that. I'm like, wait, do I really suck? Or like, is my content really going downhill? But then I'm like, like they're like nobody's like they they hide behind a screen to say that to try to get my attention. And um, honestly, like self confidence is like a main part of this. Like. Uh, if you have confidence in yourself um, and you know that like you're doing the right thing, then um, there's gonna be people that try to like attack you 
because like you're doing good things and they don't want to see you like succeed. Be confident in yourself and keep doing you. And um, how do you get over a comment like that? Just honestly take your mind off of it by like doing something else. Like for me, it's playing basketball. Like when I play basketball and listening to music, it like takes my mind off of everything and it like helps me get over it. So if you guys have like a hobby, I mean maybe doing homework for you guys, maybe that'll take your mind off of it. <laughs> I don't know. Perfect, I just heard a key there. Yeah, <laughs> do you guys' homework, that'll like take your mind off of a hate comment or something like that. But um, yeah, something that you guys like to do. And um, do you ever get angry from hate? Uh, like I said, I used to a long time ago. I used to let it get to me. Um, but now I just like laugh. I'm just like, um, they're just trying to like attack you for no reason and um, they're trying to get your attention. But if you don't give them the attention, then uh, they're losing. They're, you're not giving them the attention that they want. So try not to get angry from comments. Like if you guys get like siren bullied or if you guys get hate comments or tweets or stuff like that, just, just know that they're trying to do it on purpose to get your attention. And they probably don't even mean it anyway. How do you deal with negative comments? Um, you know, sometimes I'll like remove them. Like if I see one that's like really like hurtful or something, I'll remove them and like block them like I said. And other than that, um, since I get like a lot of comments on my videos, like the majority of them is support and then like I'll see hate comments here and there. Just, I, I don't pay them any attention at all. How do you still manage to be positive? Um, like I said, it's like self-confidence. Uh, like, sometimes I'll get comments, oh, you're ugly, don't do this, like, oh, this and that. But I'm like, in my head, I'm like, oh, just, I look good. That's what I say, just self-confidence. Look at, look at yourself in the mirror every day and just say, oh, dang, I look so good. So just have confidence in yourself. I'm telling you, that, that actually helps a lot. And, um, you know, they don't, they don't know who you are. Like, the cyber bullies, they're hiding behind a computer screen. They don't personally know who you are. And, um... Yeah, just, just have self-confidence. If you guys have any other questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Yeah. How would you deal with negative comments from other YouTubers? Other YouTubers? I'm um, like, okay, so there's like a lot of like drama on YouTube from like drama. big YouTubers. Um, rice gum, <laughs> you guys know rice gum. <laughs> but how I deal with that, I mean, I've never gotten myself into like drama with other big YouTubers, but ignoring it, because if you um like bring it attention, it's gonna like make it bigger, bigger than it already is. But if you ignore it, it'll like uh, die down in like a couple of days. But if you bring it more attention, it'll like keep expanding. Basically, there are some haters that like, if you give them attention, like let's say someone tweets at me like saying, I hate you, you suck, and I'll be like, thank you. They'll, they'll be like, oh my god, I love you, Rug, thank you so much, like, I didn't mean that, and then I'll be like, okay, see, like, they just try to get your attention. Most of the time, they don't mean it, they're just doing it to, like, see if you'll reply, and, like, they're usually, like, fans, like, it, it's funny. Do you ever think that if you have haters, you're actually doing something right? Because, um, when you have haters, that means you're actually getting to be Yeah, yeah, great question. Um, I see, like, the more haters you get, the more, like, like successful you are kind of because you can't be successful without haters I think so and um, obviously having more haters and supporters isn't good but in my case like I have a ton more supporters than haters but I still do see the hate comments but um, I honestly like when I get haters because the more I succeed the more haters I get and like they watch me like succeed more so like they get they get more sad like they're like oh Danny he's succeeding Right. Oh, <laughs> you have to lose before you can lose. Yes, exactly. Perfect. Have you ever had like a friend that started hating on you that you like you started to realize that they weren't really like your friend? Yes, like a fake friend. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've dealt with that like a lot, especially like in high school. I had like. I had friends, but like I like sometimes they would talk behind my back about me, and then now that like I got big, like I see some of them try to like text me or like tweet at me saying, "Hey, like let's hang out," stuff like that. I'm like, well, you should have been nice to me in high school. I hope, I mean, I hope my words like actually help you guys understand that cyberbullying, like it is an ongoing issue, but you just have to learn to like ignore all the hate, and like that actually really helps a lot. And embrace yourselves, like. Guys, I'm a part of the South. Three, two, one.
guys. You guys are so excitable. Do you have a question about men? Where's the broke option for Wes? <laughs> This is the careers to fit personality type. Yes. That's not career. I'm in the I'm south. Right? YouTuber. <laughs> Guys, our group is the best. I think our group is the best. <laughs> south. <laughs> this is what I fit under. Okay, can you, I do not need any of the papers. <laughs> Why? Why should I be on content calls? Because what? Is it my clickbait? <laughs> Guys, before I turn the camera on, that kid, he's actually so funny. He's the homie, but he's like, why do you clickbait your videos? You should be on content cop. And I'm like, what? No, don't say that, dude. Like, okay, maybe I might clickbait here and there, but he's like, why do you clickbait all your videos? But he's the homie. I remember him from when I actually did the back to school prank. He was like trying to troll me. He was like putting my hood over my head. I'm like, dude, you're such a hater, but I seriously did get roasted. He's like, play Call of Duty. And don't clickbait your videos. I'm like, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> but he's the homie. That whole class is honestly really, really chill. Shout out to Miss Slezik and her class. I think it was fifth period. You guys are the homies. But that kid definitely roasted me. I wish I actually got one. He said, why do you clickbait your videos? And he's like, you need to play Call of Duty more. I'm like, oh, man. So I turned my camera on and he's like, you need to be on content cop. What's up, man? That, guys, that's my neighbor right there. Shout out. This is my friend. These are my friends right here. Oh. Guys, one one last shout out to the vlog. What's up, YouTube? Shout out to Miss Slezik and Dr. Fallon right there. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I love rug. Rug is mine. Shout me out. Shout me out. Shout out. What's your name? Oh yeah, my name is John Ray. I'm Vincent. I'm Vincent. Shout out. Guys, I'm the Santa of the class right now. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video there. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please be sure to drop a like. Again, shout out to Wagenheim Middle School for having me and talking about cyberbullying. By the way, I'm sorry if I sounded a little bit repetitive. Um, it's just like, it's like kind of the same answers, like ignore the bullies, um, have self-confidence, and just uh, try to block them out if you can. But um, I had a lot of fun. Like, that was my first time ever doing like a public speaking thing. And I was kind of nervous, not going to lie. So if I did stutter and I, I, I did look nervous, I was nervous. Um, I was like kind of under pressure, but it was really fun. I want to do this more often I want to do another back-to-school prank if you guys want to see that Please let me know because the principal and I talked about it after I'm like I'm down to do another Surprising fans in class, but like different classrooms so they have no idea so if you guys want to see that um, please be sure to drop a like on this video. Stop cyberbullying if you're a hater. I mean, like, it's the internet. There's gonna be haters out there, but my goal was to have an impact on the students in that class, um, because, like, a lot of them watch my videos and look up to me, and that was my goal. Like, I don't want them to get hurt from, like, seeing comments on the video. So, um, you know, just one positive thought a day can actually change everything. Like, right when you wake up, have a positive thought, positive mindset, and it can actually like have a huge impact on your day. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for the continuous support. And I just want to clear something up from yesterday's video. A lot of people thought that I actually got my dentist pregnant. No, it's not like that. I said it at the end of the video. It was just a joke because we always joke around like that because my dentist gets a lot of comments on her picture saying, oh, Rug is the dad, Rug is the dad, Rug is the dad. And I went to the dentist yesterday and she's like, we should make a joke saying that you really are the father. She was just cool about it. And we we're just joking around. I'm not going to be a father. Hopefully that clears it up. But um, I just said it as a joke in the videos like kind of like sarcasm so thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you're new turn on post notifications so you guys are notified when i do upload every single day and other than that it's been rug and i'm out peace